in this video we are going to discuss about depth limited search so the problem that we face in depth for searches like from the starting node we keep on traversing to all the branches so we take up a, a branch and we go till the end and then we come back and take the next branches okay if the taken branch is not uh, proceeding to a solution then we go up and take up the remaining solution so this is depth for search and the problem that we face in depth for search is in case the path that you are taking right if the path that is taken is more than it if it goes in an infinite uh, track then it it will uh, loop inside okay so the uh, depth for search will never goes to a solution right <clears throat> For example, if I have uh, some nodes here joining G and it goes on into an infinite loop and uh, my depth for search starts from starting node, it travels to the leftmost branch first and if it is an infinite then that is the issue we face over here. So we are going to find, uh, use the method called depth limited search. So depth limited search is we are going to uh, limit the depth. For example, if I take depth is equal to 2 only up to 2 depth is followed like depth value of root node is 0, 1, 2. So searching will occur only till this and we use usual depth for search using your stack. We are going to proceed it. Okay, for example, if D is taken as 2, we start from this root node. Root node is A. A will be added to stack and uh, will pop it out. will explore A. That is visitor node. Visit A. So when you are visiting a node, we have to check whether A is the or destination, is the goal state or not. If A is not the goal state, we have to find the children of A, that is B and C. So B and C will be added to stack. And next, the element to be popped out is B. So B will be added to visit list and we check whether B is the goal state. If B is not the goal state, we find the children of B. Okay, now while finding the children of B, we have to see the depth value of D and E. And depth value of D and E is 2. Okay, if it is less than or equal to 2, it is allowed. So D and E will be added to stack. Okay, stack will be like D, E, C will be there in stack. And next node to be explored is D. D will be added to visit node. Now you are going to verify whether D is the goal state or not. No, D is not the goal state. Now, we, what we have to do, we have to find the children of D. And children of D is G and H, but the depth value of G is 3. Okay, so when the depth value is increasing, you're not going to include this element into stack. Okay, so searching occurs only up to the fixed number of depth. So that is called depth limited search. So next, what we have to do, we have to remove E out of stack and add it to your uh, visit node and find whether e is, B, uh, e is a destination node or not. So here it is not the destination node. And uh, if this is not the goal state, we have to find the uh, uh, children of E. There is no children for E. So it is all done. And finally, we have to take up C and add it to visit node. Explore C. When you are exploring C, uh, children of C is F. And F is the only node, right? So F is a node with depth 2 and our fixed depth limit is 2. So it is satisfying. So we can explore F also. When you are exploring, the next node is the children of F is I and J. But I and J depth value is 3. When the depth value is more, we cannot include that into the stack. So with this depth, the searching is done. Okay, so this is depth limited search, but the problem is when you have a static depth. Okay, so we may either if the depth value taken is very small, okay, when I take it as one or two, will never reach a goal state in that. Okay, so there is a possibility of missing the goal state if the depth value is taken very low. And if the depth value taken is more. Okay, if it is higher, then it increases the complexity of the algorithm too. So that is the possibility of increasing the complexity when the depth value is taken more. And when it is taken less, it will not lead to a goal state too. So these are all the issues that we face in depth limited search. In order to overcome that, we are going for an iterative deepening algorithm. So for depth limited search, I'll give one more uh, example. 
So depth limited search expands the deepest node and it is going to use stack as a memory unit, but it is going to follow until a limited predefined depth. So till that depth, a searching will occur using a depth, so depth for search. So here the depth value taken is three. So until depth value equal to three, the searching will occur starting from root node, A will be added to stack and that will be popped out, explore A, the children node are B and C, added to stack, the next node to be popped out is B. And when you are taking B, the children are D and E, check the depth each and every situation. Now the depth value is three and the depth value of D and E is two. Okay, so this can be added to stack. Now the next node to be popped out is D. And for D, the children node are G and H and the depth value of G and H is equal to 3. If it is equal to 3, then we can add it up to the stack. Okay, so now pop out G. G doesn't have any, uh, G doesn't have any children. If G is the gold state, stop. Or else we have to pop out the next possible element out of stack, that is H. If H is the gold state, stop. And when you are finding a, children for h it is l and the depth is more than the predefined state so we cannot add that to stack okay so l cannot be added so the next element to be popped out is e if e is the gold state stop or else go with the or uh, proceed uh, repeat the procedure the next element to be popped out of stack is c c will be taken out and the children for c is f and the depth of f is 2 so F can be added into stack while exploring F, the children of F is I and J. So I and J will be added to stack, pop out I, check whether I is the gold state. If I is the gold state, stop or else will be removed and pop out J and check whether J is the gold state or not. If J is the gold state, then no problem. If J is not the gold state, then we have to stop the algorithm and say that there is no gold state. Since for J, you have only one children that is K and the K is not a, the depth of K is four, which is greater than the predefined set. So we cannot use that into our searching. Okay, so till this, we are going to stop the procedure and return that the gold state is not found in this case. So this is depth limited search. Okay. Thank you.